Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me and of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler for you, series of these I've been doing for a little while. Now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I'm super excited for this one because I've never had this before. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, <sighs> I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? What well, happens to be my boom? My Dragon Ball shirt, which I really love this shirt. I love not only, like, the styling, but, like, the you know, just kind of the graphical choice that they went with it. The black with, you know, black and white, but then, like, you know, the coloration for the Dragon Balls and the outfits. I just think it's neat. Uh, and if you're somehow unfamiliar with Dragon Ball, I don't know where the fuck you've been uh, for the past, like, you know, what, almost... Oh, God, it's got to be, like, a ha almost half a century now? Um, but you might not be super familiar with Dragon Ball... Probably more along the lines of Dragon Ball Z, maybe even Dragon Ball Super these days. Um, you know, but yeah, Dragon Ball is where it all started. You know, it was done by Akira Toriyama back in them, thar days. And, uh, you know, I didn't grow up with Dragon Ball exactly. I was more of a Dragon Ball Z guy. But when we had that real big wave of sort of like the late 90s, early 2000s of like anime coming over to the West... You know, they started just importing anything that they felt had some sort of value, and they eventually brought over Dragon Ball, and I remember watching it on uh, Toonami, and just loving it, man. I just thought it was so cool. I still think it's really cool. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Well, <clears throat> earlier in the day, I was doing some reviews, and during one of said reviews, I, I announced that I really wanted a Giro, you know, because, like, hadn't had a Giro in a while, and so... When I went over there and I woke up from my after work nap, I was like, all right, you know, where am I going to get a gyro from? You know, there's a plenty of nice gyro places around me, but I wanted to try a new place. So I found a place. It has an awkward name. It's Boom. It is Taste Greek Street Food, which I guess there's a couple locations of them. They're both in Illinois, which means that this review is going to end up on my Eating Out Illinois playlist, which is a playlist just highlighting Illinois spots. Uh, I'm just going to refer to it as taste, by the way, during the, the review, because I'm not going to say the whole damn thing. But anyway, uh, so I went over there, and I actually just got through reviewing one of their classic Chicago-style gyros. Or gyros, however you want to pronounce it. And, uh, so go watch that review if you want that take. But they had an item on there that I was like, okay, never seen that before. So what is it, folks? Well, it happens to be another gyro, but it's BOOM! Well, you can't, can't see it all that well. Boom! What is this? This is their homemade pork gyro, which consists of spit-roasted pork, tomato, onions, and tzatziki sauce. So really, the only difference is it's pork instead of, like, I, I think traditionally gyro is made from, like, lamb meat. Um, yes, I've never had a pork gyro. I had chicken gyros before. Never pork, though. So... I'm really interested to see how this goes. Let's go ahead and get it open. I mean, I can't imagine this not being delicious. It's got, it's got some stuff going on. It's going to be unwieldy. It's going to be unwieldy. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's get a thing for the thing before it completely falls apart on me. It looks like this. Ha, 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 ha. It's also got some fries in it because I got it as a combo, so. But I am going to take the fries out so that I can just focus on the gyro. That's some good pork. I like that. I think I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this. That's some tasty fucking pork, man. Okay. I'm going to eat most of it before I even eat it. All right, let's get in here. 
That pork is so unique. I like that. One thing I have to mention. That's good. One thing I have to mention that I brought up a lot in the previous review with their normal girl, their tzatziki sauce. This is some next level tzatziki sauce. It is unlike any other tzatziki sauce I've ever had. It has like an extra zinginess to it. <clears throat> and it just kind of brightens the whole thing up. Gives it like an extra freshness, and extra sharpness. It really makes it stand out. I like their tzatziki sauce a lot. So, the real question is, how does the tzatziki sauce work with the pork instead of the lamb? Now, the pork itself, as I've mentioned, I really like. It's kind of thinly cut, but it's almost got like a like a bacon kind of texture to it. But it's not like rough or anything like that. It's got a little chewiness, but not in like a, like it's been overcooked or anything kind of way. Just, you know, in the way that it's been prepared. Got a nice flavor to it. It's definitely got that, you know, that thing where it's like been, you know, like they said, spit roasted, you know, so you can tell it's built up that flavor. I really like that. Really, really like that. That is making me wonder why more places don't do fucking, uh, why they don't do pork gyros. Don't get me wrong, I don't want them to replace the original gyros. Original gyros are fucking tip top, but this is the first place I've ever seen that has a pork gyro, and I'm wondering why now, because I really like this. And... Even though the, uh, took too big a mouthful there. Um, <laughs> even though the pork with the tzatziki sauce is a little bit of a different thing, because obviously the pork has a different flavor, flavor profile than a normal gyro would, they still play really well together, actually, which I was kind of surprised by because. You know, you'd think tzatziki sauce, at least here in America, you think that gyro is so... Excuse me. You think... Man, oh man. Some try to go down the wrong tube. <laughs> Luckily, I'm a professional. Um, I've done like over 2,000 of these reviews. I'm not dead yet. Um, but no, like even though, again, like you do have that association with just the more traditional gyro meat, it works really well with the pork. Like it doesn't, it, it doesn't mess with, the pork flavor doesn't mess with the tzatziki sauce. The tzatziki sauce doesn't mess with the pork flavor. It's still just this nice, really savory, really tasty overall experience. And it makes me kind of wonder, you know, just like I said, I'm wondering with, you know, why don't we have more pork gyros out there? Kind of wondering why we don't use, at least again in America, I'm sure, in the places where it's native to, why we don't use tzatziki sauce in more things, because that works really well with the pork. That's really good, man. I like that a lot. Two questions have to be asked, though. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? absolutely and absolutely and well going off the first thing i think this hits really nice for me it's something i've never had before i was a little bit concerned on how it was going to all come together if the sauce was going to mess with everything how is it going to go thankfully any concern i had was like completely tossed away as soon as i bit into it the pork was really nice i liked the way I like everything about the way they did the pork. I like the texture. I like the consistency. I like the flavor of it. You know, they definitely did a good job of finding a way to make the pork work in a similar way 
to what gyro meat would normally do, but at the same time still emphasizing that pork aspect, you know? The tzatziki sauce still is amazing. It's fantastic. I'm going to go over there, folks. I'm going to say this. If you watch my channel for a while, you know what I'm about to say. I'm going to call this the business. And if you don't know what that means, when I call something the business, that means that basically I think this is about as good as you could do this. You know, like you could tweak things here or there, but like it's pretty much a perfect item. And while I did like their normal gear, I thought that was pretty solid. This, being that this is my first example of ever having a pork gyro, you know, it's the only one I can go off of, but this is a little bit of a game changer for me. I really, really like this. Like I said, just everything about it I think worked really well. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call that one the business. I really enjoyed that. If I'm recommending it, I'm absolutely recommending it. I would say whereas with again with their normal gyro, I I could get, you know, maybe not from too many places, but I could get a better gyro, one that suits my palate just a little bit more. With this, this is the only place I know that I could get something like this. It might be, I'm sure it's available other places somewhere, but I would go back there just for this, you know? For their normal gyro, sure, maybe once in a while, especially for that tzatziki sauce, but this, this for me would be a little bit of a destination item. This is something where, now that I know this exists, I know I want this, so I would be willing to go back. And if I'm recommending it to people, I think this is one of those things you gotta try. I think that, you know, and, you know, to be fair, like I said, maybe there's places around you that do offer it, uh, you know, let me know. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about them. But this is one of those things. I think if you like a normal gyro, I think you're going to like this. I think there's going to be new things to take away from it. And it's a really good experience. So five things before I get out of here. <laughs> have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Spend this rest of your year. Folks, score yourselves a truly... Pork gyro tastic rest of your life because who to thunk? Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, quick drink here. Mm, Dr. Pepper is good. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. When we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, have you ever had a pork arrow before? Is it like a commonplace thing that I've just somehow missed out on my entire life? I can't imagine because I've been to, I don't know how many places that sell gyros in my life. And this is the first time I've ever seen one. But let me know. Is it a commonplace thing? Also, for that matter, what about tzatziki sauce? Is it something that you only use for the gyro? Or is it something you like to incorporate in other things? Because obviously it's multi-purposeful. It's not just for gyros. But I'd be really interested because, you know, as much as I enjoy some, you know, some Greek Mediterranean style food and stuff like that. You know, I don't know that much about it in the grand scheme of things. You know, I just kind of know what, you know, my experiences have led me to. So, anyway. Bye.